Hi everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa, I am The Crafty Author and welcome to my quilting studio. Today we are going to talk about an upcoming project that I'm really, really super excited about and I'm excited to tell you about it. So, <clears throat> as many of you may know, and if you don't, well then last year I participated in the um, breast cancer awareness quilt um, with Fat Quarter Shop. And I had so much fun doing that and I really, really loved it. So this year I am going to be um, sewing along again with Fat Quarter Shop. And it is called the Bountiful Charity Quilt Along. And it is um, fabrics that are by Moda designed by Corey Yoder, and it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And so I will be teaching you, if you sew along with me, which I really hope that you will, um, I will be showing you how to make each block. And so I want to show you the fabrics. And so now there's two, there's two kits that you can get. Okay, so you can either buy this kit or you can use your own fabric, whichever one you want. If you want to use what I'm going to use, then you're going to probably need to get on the ball and get this purchased. So let me show you. First of all, it comes in this adorable box. Isn't that cute? And then it has the magnetic. Do I have it on the wrong side? I might. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be just, yeah. No, I had it on the right one. I just had it not right. So there's what I have inside of there. Okay. And so I love this. I think it is so cute. Look at that, 2023 Bountiful Charity Quilt Along. It's gorgeous. These colors are gorgeous. Um, also, I went ahead and picked up a quilting journal from Fat Quarter Shop because those were on sale for $9.79. And what this does is it helps you to organize, it says this book belongs to, and it helps you to organize all of your quilting projects. And so I went ahead and got this so that I could organize my quilts because I have a lot of quilts that I'm working on this year. So got that. Super excited to dig into it. This is the pattern and all the goodies inside to tell you how to cut and piece everything together. But like I said, I will be doing tutorials for you so that you can follow along. And then here is the... Moda stack by Corey Yoder. It has all of the fabrics that you need to do this. And I also picked up some Aurifil thread. This is 40 weight, again, from Fat Quarter Shop. Um, I just got this because I love to piece with Aurifil 40 weight um, threads. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with this color, which is more of like a it's a cream, but it has kind of a pink tint to it. And then this one is just bright white. So those are what I have here. And then as I was telling you, and I will show you um, the pictures of the finished quilt that they have on their website. And also, um, sorry, trying to think and do too many things at one time. So I'll show you that, and I will also link to this kit so that you can get it if you're interested. Um, so we're going to sew this quilt from March to August, and I will be doing the video tutorials, also blog posts, and Fat Quarter Shop will also be doing that. Um, so what they're asking is that you would donate $10 for the use of each free quilt pattern. So this pattern is free, and you can download it on Facebook. Fat Quarter Shop's um, website, and a, a quilt pattern, a total of $50, or donate what you can. So it's really neat because the Make-A-Wish Foundation is really a great 
Um, it's a great organization. It helps to mostly what it's known for is helping children, um, terminally ill children get their, their wishes. So anyhow, and I will say, I, this is something that is kind of near and dear to my heart and I, and I will share with you why, cause I haven't shared this in a while. So to those of you who are new, welcome. And, um, my son was born, um, six weeks premature and I had had a really bad pregnancy when I was pregnant with him and I had, it ended up having an emergency C-section and I had a condition called placenta previa. And what that means is that your, your placenta tries to deliver before the baby. Um, it's very, very dangerous. And they always are concerned that mothers could bleed to death. And so that was, that was my whole pregnancy. So I was on bed rest for six months. And then when he was born, um, he was very, very sick. Very, very sick. Um, he was in the NICU at our local children's hospital for the first six months of his life. Um, it was extremely hard and it was a terrifying, very challenging time for our family. And lucky for us, he, he improved. He improved. Now my son does have cerebral palsy and he does, he is hearing impaired and he is developmentally delayed. Um, however, he's, he's pretty lucky cause he functions at a pretty high level. And, um, so we were really blessed, you know, and lots of prayers were answered. Um, and I wish that was the case for all. Unfortunately it isn't, but to help make somebody else's day brighter by granting their wish and by helping the families that way too, is just something that is really, um, a beautiful thing to give to someone. We want to grant wishes, and that's what I am going to be doing here. And I haven't decided what I will do with this quilt once I'm finished with it. Um, I don't know if I will donate it or if I will. I don't know. You just never know. <laughs> so then there is also this really pretty um, backing set that you can get as well. So this is what the backing will look like. It's a special backing. So this is in addition to this quilt kit here. Um, you can use whatever backing you would like to, but I thought it would be fun to do this backing. So again, if you're gonna do this quilt with me, then we will be working on that as well. This is what it looks like. And so I don't know what have I gotten myself into. <laughs> Excitement. But here's the that fabric here. And I haven't opened it yet. It's it's still wrapped nicely. <laughs> but we will be digging into this. Um, so you will see me posting videos about this. I will have a playlist um, for this charity quilt along. And... So if you miss any episodes and you want to catch up or, you know, something like that, then you can always go back and, and sew along with. I will also post this on my blog at thecraftyauthor.com. Also, I wanted to mention that um, tomorrow we will be kicking off my new channel with my mom and my niece that is called The Crafty Author Crew where we are going to focus more on crafts instead of quilting and embroidery. That will be for this channel. So, plus they wanted to get in on the action because they think that crafting is fun now. <laughs> so, I was like, okay, we can do this. Um, so, that's what we are doing. Um, I've been working on the, the Hunter Star quilt, and it's looking really beautiful. However... However, <laughs> I got the first three rows done and then I realized that I didn't cut enough pieces. <laughs> so I have to cut more pieces so that I can make 
three more rows. And then I'll be able to start putting it all together. So if you're following along with me on that one, boy, oh boy, did I get stuck right there. So, but no big deal. You know, everything is fixable. So <laughs> I just have to laugh at myself sometimes, honestly, because, you know, I, I counted everything correctly. I went off in the directions and then I don't know what happened. Who knows? Who knows what happened? I thought I was cutting it the right amount of pieces and then I wasn't. So anyhow, you got to laugh at yourself, right? Because if you don't, everybody else is going to do it for you. Um, anyway, so if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like to share, that's great because sharing is caring. Don't forget to click the little bell. You'll get notified each and every time that I upload awesomely cool new video and keep on crafting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.